Hello everyone, and today we're fixing a camper van. And fixing Bun its rusty doors and making it look cleaner. And for this video, we are going to clean the inside and clean the outside because it's dirty. And our dad is going to do it too, and we're going to help him. And cut! As you saw in our previous video, Project Lockdown is a real dirty gertie. She's got filth everywhere and hasn't had a proper good clean in probably a couple of years. So we're going to be getting on the roof, scrubbing it down with a uh, scrubbing brush and the proper uh, car wash soap from Valet Pro. And then we're going to be mopping and compounding the surface. And then we're going to be finishing off with a polish. But I think 90% of this job today is going to be scrubbing the grime, the dirt, the grease from, well, 17 years worth of use. So I look forward to starting it and I look forward to taking you along for the journey. So one of the first things we're going to be doing is spraying the Valet Pro Dragon's Breath on the car. Now it's not just for wheels, it's actually an iron fallout remover. So we're going to spray it all over the side of the van and then you can just see the results. Now bearing in mind this is a ex farriers van, which is all metal work, it'll be interesting to see the results of what actually falls off the side of this van. So let's give it a go. That is disgusting. Look at the rubbish that's coming off that paintwork. Thank you, Valet Pro. Okay, so after about two and a half hours worth of jet washing, that is stage one done. She is better certainly not clean but way better now our next stage is to give it a wash actually with the soap and then after that see these marks here that was from some sort of sign writing and that's just the residue left off but this is some dry paint she ugh. there we go dry dry paint that hasn't been polished washed or conditioned for a long time the roof was disgusting as you can imagine but you know when you first get a van you've got to you've got to get to know it you know so giving it a good clean giving it a good detox is a is a good way to start knowing your van i guess and that's what we're doing so I'm gonna fill up a bucket with hot soapy water, put some soap in and get scrubbing, I guess. Next one, let's go. Now we've done the jet washing, we're still left with some ingrained dirt within the paint. The jet wash has got most of it off, but we need to now scrub the paint and get that soap in there and get it uh, really clean for the next stage. Now I'm only working in sections here. I've got the Valet Pro Advanced Car Formula. I've got a scrubbing brush. And so, for example, I'm going to be working in this section, then rinsing it off with the jet wash, the bottom section, rinsing it off, trying to keep uh, the wash just from drying on the actual surface. If you leave it to dry without rinsing it off, you know, you're leaving that dirt in there. So literally doing a section with a scrubbing brush, going over it with a softer sponge and then rinsing it off. What I'm making sure to do is getting in all the body joins and the grooves within the paintwork because that's where all the dirt's been sitting for all this time. So having a stiff bristle brush is really good. This one's a, an organic brush but a plastic one will work just as well. Um, and I'm trying to get right in those grooves just to get all the ingrained dirt out there as best as possible. I'm not too bothered about how much damage it's causing the paint any of those micro scratches because we're going to be getting those later, getting those little scratches out later um, with the polishing stage. I don't think I'd recommend this to your two-year-old car, but this hasn't been washed in such a long time. I've really got to work hard to get all that dirt out of there. So I don't know whether the camera's going to pick it up, but in between these more horizontal sections, 
you can tell where I've scrubbed here and where I haven't there. It's actually a lot darker here. And I think obviously where the farrier, the first guy who owned this van, did all of his metal work, there was loads of metal or iron fallout on the van, as you saw with the dragon's breath uh, that we sprayed all over earlier. And I'm sure if I, now this panel's clean, if I was to still spray some dragon's breath on there, it would probably still turn purple. So I'm gonna do that now actually. Today is the next day. I spent five and a half hours, I think, yesterday preparing, jet washing, and then scrubbing, and then sponge washing the exterior of this van. There's still loads to do. Today, we are gonna be concentrating on removing all the sticky residue from all the paintwork, trying to remove as many of the rust spots as possible, and removing the vinyl stickers that are on the sliding door that you saw from earlier. All things that I really want to sort of get rid of. Um, and what I'm gonna do is take you through those processes step by step. And hopefully by, by in a couple of hours, if not sooner, we should be able to start mopping and polishing. The tools you're gonna to need today are a heat gun, a scraper with a Stanley blade, a form of polish or polishing compound, such as Valet Pro's Advanced Compound. You also need a rotary polishing tool or a dual action rotary tool with the appropriate sponges, again from Valet Pro. We are using Max Meyer Prep Paste with microfiber towels. And to get rid of any last oily residue marks, we're going to be using brake cleaner and blue roll. Okay. So when you're polishing a car, and I'm no expert on polishing a car by the way, but this is the way I've been shown. Um, I try my best to do it. Again, I'm no pro. If you really want your car polished to a completely high standard, I'd suggest you employ the services of a professional car valeter. I try and do everything myself, which is why I've got this, and which is why I've got the help of Valet Pro, and they give me the advanced compound. So what I'm going to be doing, and you've seen this on some of the other um, images that I've been showing on the video so far is basically I'm going to be putting a generous amount of the solution on the sponge and when I approach the panel I'm going to be dabbing it one two three four and basically spreading the compound out on the panel that I want to clean um, mainly because you don't want it flicking everywhere and you don't want to have loads of the liquid here and then by the time you get to this part of the panel you're not going to have any at all so yeah we're basically going to start at this end and finish here and what you want to try and maintain is going in one direction on your first pass and then a second direction so up and down on the first pass and then across on the second now it's about applying um, a steady and even pressure. You don't want to go digging in because you will burn out the paint and you don't want to be too light otherwise you're just going to not create any effect whatsoever. So a nice even level pressure across the whole lot and uh, hopefully you should be removing the scratches, removing any of the ingrained dirt in the paint and actually reconditioning the paint, actually putting some nice substance back in the paint and that's really what this is for. So we'll give it a go. Once you've finished doing your pass and you're quite happy, you want to just buff off the clean microfiber buffing towel and then you'll be able to see the shine and you've reconditioned the paint there all in one hit and you try to remove all the scratches as much as possible as well. Now I'm not going to film myself doing the whole lot, the whole van, because you don't want to see me doing that over the next couple of hours, so there'll be a bit of time lapse and a bit of, uh, sort of me filming in between. but. I shall bring you back mainly for the end result.
Now, as you can see, all the paintwork is really, really nice and clean. All the scuffs have been taken out and all of the grubby uh, sort of rust marks. Don't look too closely at it because it still probably needs some attention to the wheel arches. I'm fully aware of that. But one of the uh, final changes or one of the final things we need to do is just to bring these bumpers up to stuff. Now, if you take a look up in the top right hand corner of the video, you should see a link now to how to restore your uh, black bumpers and your black trim on your camper van. And I'm basically going to follow that exact guide. I have a heat gun which when hovered over the black plastic will bring out all of the oils in the plastic, make it nice and black again. And then I'm going to finish off with the Valley Pro Black to the Future and go from there basically. Oh, that would seal the colour in um, and then as long as you keep applying the Black to the Future you should maintain a really nice black trim on your van. Let's get on with it. Thank you. 